Alright everybody, and welcome back to another episode. Um, as I told you guys, I'm not, you know, recording Chaos Theory anymore. I'm just gonna record the Battle Royales, because after every Chaos Theory I beat, I'm going to upload a Battle Royale. So I'm not gonna record the Chaos Theory, but I'm gonna record the Chaos Theory Battle Royale. This took me forever, but there's a lot of dinosaurs. Um... I personally feel like the rap the, the Trodons are gonna win because not only do Trodons have very dangerous poison that I'm not allowed to heal, but I'm pretty sure they can pack on, which is pretty dangerous. So I feel like these Trodons are gonna win this. Also, my voice might sound horrible because for first period in class, I played dodgeball and a lot of cool and funny things happened so mid dodgeball i was pretty much destroying my voice also we're not doing park tours because uh the first park tour was funny because i actually had relationships and stories to tell with these dinosaurs but now at least in this chaos theory i have no stories to tell because I've been playing in three times speed, didn't look or interact with the dinosaurs. Like, I was just trying to be this. Like, in the first Chaos Theory, I was trying to enjoy the game, you know, really get the beauty of it. But in this Chaos Theory, I. Uh, what's it called? I just wasn't feeling it, you know? After the first, maybe like 30 minutes of me playing, I. Just focus more on the challenges more than anything. So I have no stories to tell on a park tour. Plus the park tour is kind of trash. Uh, this part's empty. But uh, with further ado, I once again apologize about my voice. I sound freaking horrible. And let's open up these gates and who wins the battle royale. See who wins the battle royale. And I'm sorry about any background noises. Nothing, apparently. Oh. Why isn't it telling me about this stuff? We got a raptor that just soloed a para. Very interesting. It's not telling me about the fights, and that is a big problem. Big, big problem. We got a very nice looking Gallimimus here. I think it's about to get hunted by a raptor. But only time will tell. Okay, let's see. We got... A Struthi hunted down by Trodons. Oh, there's a raptor in the Trodon enclosure. Will it start killing off more? Both Carnos are now in the loose. This Carno is exploring. Oh, we yeah, had two Chasmosaurus fighting. Interesting. Not what I intended to happen, but it's happening. Yep, headbutting. Pretty sure they're fighting over dominance. And this guy won. But we've got a raptor here now. The Trodons are taking over the Compi enclosure. It was a T-Rex enclosure that shared with Compies, but now it's just Compi. Oh! That was sick. I like that. I was gonna use that as a thumbnail, but that looks horrible. That was a good hit. 
amazing hit by the Youngasaurus. That? Yeah, I did. Nice. Let's see if it kills. He does not. The Raptor doesn't seem to be on low HP. Okay, so the Raptor scares it off. 67. 41. I feel like a Younga had a chance. It wasn't a high one, but it had a chance. I think all the copies are dead. But that is very debatable. We got more species that are team killing. Right there. Oh yeah, this is the indestructible Struthi from that meme. It says that it's dead, but it's really alive. And this guy's just gonna sit there infinitely healing it. Even though it does nothing. Will Trodon's pack on the Carno? I would love to see that. Honestly, I would love to see Trodon's pack hunting. I've never seen dinosaurs pack hunt a medium. Like, I've never seen small carnivores pack hunt medium carnivores. We have the Majunga eating off a dying old age Trodon. I wonder if they pack hunt medium carnivores. Or if they just want to be one medium carnivores, who knows. We got another dead galley. The raptors are the center of action here which is not surprising to me at all we got the carno here it might fight a chasmosaur i think it's actually squaring up with the chasmosaur yep it is it most definitely is let's go let's go you animation king let me get a thumbnail you Oh, one bite and it's down. Jesus. He doesn't even eat it. Oh, yes, it does. I was going to say, that kill was straight dominance. Mikarno fully destroys Chasmosaur. The Chasmosaur population is in great danger right now. Great, great danger. I'm looking at another objective. I don't care ideal candidate to see about this woman. I love how they just sleep after fighting. It is hung. We got Majunga finally actually fighting something. Oh! 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 Trodon got something! Trodon got something! Okay. Trodon poisoned the raptor! Not looking good for the raptor. The raptor is running away and it will soon die for the Trodon to feast on. Oh my god, this is amazing. Majungu! You are weak! That is Majungi's extinct from the park. They're good. Uh, yeah, I feel like. Oh, oh <gasps> he bit the Cosmos sword. He did it. But now he's dead. Ooh, he's alive. Is this the Alpha? Yeah, the animation is terrible. With this combination, at least. And he's dead. What? Tron is surprising me. And he scares it off for it to soon die later on. That's Tron's playstyle. You bite it, you scare it off, and you wait for it to die later on. Kerbivore is doing pretty good. And I feel like they might win again the second time in a row. But Trodons are proving themselves more and more worthy. Died among them causes. So things might start dying, if not getting injuries from this stance. Which is what makes this unique to the other Chaos Theory. 
Each battle royale will be unique with unique dinosaurs. This battle royale, the last battle royale was not really unique, but this battle royale will be unique because sandstorms actually damage dinosaurs. As you can see, they are getting elements, however they're pronounced. And some dinosaurs are gonna die to this sandstorm alone, which could change the tide of the battle completely. Also, uh, this guy, he's instantly won. He is a unkillable god. I'm not just watching. It's like, what's going on here? What is this? Yup. Giga just one shot it. Giga Spinosaurus. Just freaking pressing in the dirt. The sandstorm is over, and we are soon going to find out who survived and didn't survive the sandstorm. See what else? We have Trodons, or one Trodon, now exploring the Raptors' territory. Everything's chilling, everything's relaxing right now. Pretty chill moment in time. Very, very chill. Oh! And we got a raptor killing a Caspersaur. But this is the poisoned raptor. And it's still dying from the poison. I feel like I may be right with this Trodon theory, folks. We got Kaz and... Kaz killed another Kaz. And then we got this interesting Crytona fight. I love how when they don't like population, they decided to kill each other instead of other things. Chunking and Hyung! Chunking and Hyung. This is what I want to see. We got herbivores starting more problems than the carnivores. Do they have like a lightsaber animation? Or they like... Okay, so... Hyangosaurus won that. I wanna see if there's an animation where... And it's dead. <laughs> I wanna see if there's an animation where the Stegosaurids... Like, you know, you know how like the Trikes... We got one more Trodon left in the entire park. Um... Carnival will forever be handicapped at 70 HP. Asset transportation in progress. Delivery has been completed. Crytano trying to escape. I'm not gonna let that happen. This is everyone's fight right now. And I'm pretty sure these two are about to fight. Yup! Here we go. Oh, and it's down. Nope, Carno, you're getting your own kill. So Chasmosaurus seems to destroy Hyangosaurus. This Hyangosaurus side of old age. Is that Hyangosaurus extinct from the park? I'm pretty sure that's Hyangosaurus extinct from the park. Now we have these two fighting. I should have clipped that. I mean, paused it for a thumbnail. Let's see. I want to get a thumbnail of herbivores fighting. Because the title is going to be Herbivore Royale San Diego. That's cool, but I'm probably going to find cool. Are they going to leave? And it's getting called off. Oh my god, Hyangosaurus barely surviving. Barely healing up. Oh, that's poor kid. Yeah. If I'm being honest. 
all these guys need is like a good, especially Chasmosaur, because Chasmosaur is proven to be very powerful. All they need, like Chasmosaur is the apex herbivore of this little battle rail. We have one more Crytonosaurus, one more Trunkingosaurus, three of the pretty much Eotrike of this battle rail, Chasmosaurus, and one Carnivore. Now here's the thing though, right? Chasmosaur wins amongst herbivores. Carnotaur wins amongst everything. But Carnotaur is at a health disadvantage. So anything could happen, really. So what I love in this game. These new fractures add a lot of possibility. I think these two are about to fight. It wouldn't be good for Chunking though, <laughs> at all. Everyone has food around this area, which I'm very happy for. <laughs> now we got two Chunkings. Karno's leaving. I'll let it leave, who knows. It'll come back for food. It's just expanding its territory. Mm. Nah, okay, yeah. Let's see here. Do I gotta speed up time? So Chasmosaurs are happy with three. I have to say that again because I keep on getting phone called. Carno just died of hunger. But it's up to you guys who won. You guys tell me. Did Carnotaurus win? Because he has or had five plus infinity, ten kills, three hunts, and won every fight he's been in, including one where he didn't kill. Did he take the win, or did the last remaining Chasmosaur win by watching his whole herd, friends, and family die while taking on all Sigasaurids and watching the Carno wreak havoc? Along with the Galleys, who literally did nothing, they watched the Crytons be picked up, and that's literally the only purpose they served. Some of them got killed by Carno, but these guys, who were lucky enough to not explore, survived. Or... Yeah, so who won? Did Karno win because he won every fight? Or did Chaz and Galley win because they lived long enough? I personally think Karno won because, you know, he got all the kills, but this is just a game of survival. So, you guys tell me who won. Compies, I haven't seen them the whole time, but they're dead apparently. And uh, regardless of what you told me, regardless of what you tell me, the Invincible Velociraptor and the Invincible Galley, who have powers of starving and still being alive with no hunting animations no battle animations just sit here and be gods regardless of whether you picked karna or chaz this truthy and this raptor won i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one also um i've got a pot video coming up haven't recorded it don't know what it is but hopefully it turns out well i'm gonna make sure it turns out well all right and uh, I, I really hope this gets popular because, not popular, but I hope it does well compared to other videos because beating this Chaos Theory was a literal hell. But um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.